welcome everybody to Stand Down 2018, and I'd like to introduce Sergeant Gomez and myself, George Dempsey, who have been doing Stand Down for the last 20 plus years. George, it's been, it's been a long time. Uh, thank you for having me here. First, uh, I really appreciate that I can come out here and express uh, what we're doing down in Springfield to the, com the veterans community here in East Hampton and wherever uh, this communication reaches. Uh, but as you said, we've been at this business for quite a while. I know Stand Down started in 89 back in uh, Westover, but <laughs> uh, we talk Stand Down. You and I as Vietnam veterans understand what Stand Down is, but our public out there might not know what Stand Down is. Uh, stand down is a term that we used in Vietnam uh, back when we were over there. And uh, when we used to come back from the field after a couple of weeks out there, they brought us back, gave us the dehydrated steak. I don't know if you remember that. A Valentine beer, clean your weapons. Get a haircut, yeah, shave get some a, clean exactly. fatigues. Right. Get ready to go back to the mud and the, and the mosquitoes and everything else. And that's what we call stand down. Now, we, uh, a group, Back in 89, develop, 88, I should say, developed a, a stand down in California, San Diego, and then it just took off and it came across the states, and we were able to implement it in 89, where you have been part of this movement for, for so many years with me, and now we are on our, I believe, uh, our 28th, or yeah, 28th. That's, that's correct. It, It'll be 30, 30 years next, no, or 29th. It'll be 30 years next. Let's talk a little bit more, Sergeant Gomez, about actually what we do at Stand Down now, how we reach out to the veteran this one day with all the services that are available throughout the state, that being Department of Revenue, motor vehicle, haircuts, dentists, doctors, housing, and anything else that... Uh, the veteran might need or his family. Definitely, this is a one day stop where we have over 70 providers uh, doing what you just expressed, especially in your area, which is very critical, which is the IMV, uh, where the individual can come and, and take care of businesses uh, at your section with the RMV, especially getting IDs and getting their licenses. But uh, the blood uh, mobile is going to be there, and they're in great need of blood. They're going to be doing extractions, and of course, we're going to be feeding that breakfast that we do in the morning at lunch at noontime. And the biggest thing for this year is that we're raffling a car, uh, a Grand Prix 2006, great conditions, and we're going to raffle that car to a veteran and stand down. It only will be uh, raffled to a veteran as it was donated by a veteran. But again, uh, flu shots. Flu shots started early this year and the VA is going to be there providing flu shots plus the city will be there providing flu shots. So there's a lot of services there that you are going to be able to get in one day. Now, as you get the services, uh, we will be taking down your name when you come back I mean, when you come in to stand down, then we can follow up with you if you need additional help from there on. I think we want the public to be aware as well that the veteran community is in need of support. Even though you look at a veteran, he might look okay, just physically, there's all kinds of issues. Mental health issues, dental issues, issues with, with, with uh, things you can't see. And if the, the community partakes by just helping at fundraisers, giving blood, um, it helps it helps tremendously and, and makes uh, our job a lot easier. There's a, what's the population you would say of homelessness right now in, in the Springfield, Western Mass area? Well, right now in Springfield alone, that I, I can account for at least 12 homeless veterans that live in my facility, uh, and and out there. In, 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 in the world, in the streets, we got a whole bunch of others that uh, yet have not hit that rock bottom that they need to hit to say, I need help. But there's quite a few veterans out there who are homeless. And necessary, they don't have to be homeless because they can be uh, self, uh, 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 self, 
uh, how, how they call that, living with somebody else, self-navigating uh, or whatever might be the word that I want to use. But there's a lot of veterans that are staying with family or staying in, in other places. 25, 30 years old, living with their mom and dad and, and being dependent, instead of being independent, living with their mom and dad. And, and we'll talk about the license or mass ID. If you don't have a license, you can't get a job. If you can't get a job, you can't get an apartment. If you don't have an apartment, you're homeless. You can't get an ID if you don't have a Social Security card. You can't get a Social Security card if you don't have an ID. So if the public wants to help or, or, or something, you can take Sergeant Gomez's number or my number. My, again, my name is George Dempsey, and my phone number is 413-539-2151. Sarge? Yep. The, the, the biggest situation, and I'll give you my, my information here quick, but with what you just mentioned, the culmination of all this, the culmination of everything that you mentioned, George, is suicide. Suicide. Right. right. That's, the, that, that's the combination, not having a license, not having an ID, not having a job, not having a place to be. Then why do I want to be here for? That's why we need you, community. That's why we need you to join forces with you, with us, so we can rescue George, you, myself, and others can rescue this veterans from committing that suicide. Stand right. down is the clue. We get them there, we get them started. If you know a veteran, just get out there and let them know. Stand down is going to be at the Greek Cultural Center, 6 Plainfield Street in Springfield, and my telephone number at my office is 413 731 0194. I say again, 413 731 0194. But it's critical. What we're doing, George, it, it, it's, it's a matter of life and death. You're right. Sergeant Gomez has hit on that suicide, suicide, suicide. The number one life taken issue right now is suicide. So if you know any veteran who is in, in dire need or suicidal, Call on us anytime, 24 hours a day. We've been passing around wristlets, uh, bottle coolers, keychains, the numbers everywhere. Call us. Call that suicide line. Get the veteran the help he needs. But again, if you're a veteran, if you're a family of veterans, dependent wife, uh, children of veterans, or if you just know a veteran community, let this veteran know that there is help, that there is help, that there is stand down coming up October Fifth, at the Greek Cultural Center in Springfield, 6 Plainfield Street, with telephone number 413-731-0194. We want to help. We want to reach those veterans and make sure that they'll be with us for a whole lot longer. And I'd like just to add that if you're a veteran in this area of Western Mass, being East Hampton, North Hampton, Amherst area, and you don't have transportation, Call me again at 413-539-2151. We'll try and provide you with transportation, get you to the stand down, get you back. There's free food, clothing. If you can't get the service you need today, you can get access to a time and a place where you can have the services that you do need. So please call us, pass the word community to any veterans in need. And this is past, present of, of veterans that are active now. You all are, uh, are, are, are eligible for these services. Contact Sergeant Gomez, myself. Use them numbers. Get the help you need, brothers and sisters. We're there for you. Sarge, Thank you. Else? We'll be waiting on you a stand down October 5th at the Greek Cultural Center. Thank you and do whatever you can for veterans and their families. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.